Hello there, humans and earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, I'm Bushka. Welcome back to the channel. And today, I've got a really interesting uh, video about this tank, the T9TD, fresh to the world at 6.0, the Conway. I've got a big rant coming up. <laughs> Stay tuned. Basically, I think the tank's okay. It's not particularly strong. I'll get that out of the way straight away. It's like a tort for me without any real armor, and it's got some glaring deficiencies. But for all that... It has a lot of DPM with the uh, 120mm gun. It's got a cheap Hesh round. And I will... Well, we're going to have a lot of chat about those guns, right? So buckle up for that. I'm going to tell you how you can use the tank to be effective with it. Because there is certainly a playstyle that suits this tank. Uh, some of the things it doesn't do very well. And they should be glaringly obvious considering your armor is complete pants. Um, but your mobility is lovely. And some of the... Some of the the issues you're going to face running this tank. Not the least of which is that tier 9 is dominated by massive ass heavies who uh, tier 9 and 10, massive ass TDs that want to drop huge, big HE bombs all over your bad self. Um, let's let's have a little chat about the line and uh, the seen through the lens of the Conway's guns. Here we go. So let's talk about the guns of the Conway. And, and the balance that Wargaming is putting into this line is astounding for me when you consider that on the one hand, they've balanced this line that so no tank is broken and OP and all that kind of thing. And yet on the other hand, you have the WZ-121FT, you have the Smasher, you have the Object 252U, which are all a joke of tanks, which are really moving towards a pay-to-win mode of play. This, this hash thing drives me mad, right? This is the 5.5 inch AT gun. You get 260 millimeters of AP pen for a whopping 600 alpha round. Uh, you get 3000 DPM, which is just so standard for a tier 9 TD, right? And yet you get a hash round that does 200 millimeters of pen and does a, a massive 670 alpha. Like that's 30 more alpha than a standard 150 millimeter gun on a waffle tractor or a T30 or a T95 or anything would do. 30 more alpha for your hash round for having no premium penetration round and your standard ap round does 600 that that's bad enough but the worst thing is that your high explosive has 70 millimeters of pen and will only ever do 770 average alpha could i show you why that really peeves me off this is the smasher it is a tier 7 tank that you can buy 85 millimeters of HE pen at tier 7 and 960 alpha. Balance. Balance. I, uh, I give you balance. Um, let's go back to our Amigo, the Conway. And I want to talk a little bit more about this. Because they have this massive fear of Hesh. The FV4202 and 7 and 1, for instance. You, you might remember they had... They juggled the Hesh guns. They buffed it. They nerfed it. They gave it heat as well as premium Hesh. They took away the Hesh. They just don't know what to do with it. And so I don't even bother running the Hesh gun. And that's coming from someone who's... I mean, look, if, if that's such... A, if balance is such an important facet of the game, then why is this freaking thing in the game with a Hesh round that does an average alpha of 1,300 and has 242 millimeters of pen when you put the, you know, calibrated shells on it. And you get a 101 millimeter Hesh, cheap Hesh pen gun, like. And you get down to tier nine and suddenly it's too much for the Conway to have an actual standard HE round. Like, it pays for the penetration. It only does 70 millimeters of pen with its HE round. Only 70, that's crap pen for a tier nine TD that has any kind of HE pen. Let's have a look at the T10 gun, the 155 and the T30. 90 millimeters of HE pen for a 960 alpha round. Why does the Conway get 770 alpha on a 70 millimeter? Eh, you get me. It's annoying. So I just run it with the same kind of gun that you get on the tour. 3,607 DPM, 0.293 dispersion. Great pen, 260 millimeters of pen nearly on your AP. Uh, 326 on your APCR and an actual hash round of 120 millimeters that has 515 millimeters, uh, 515 average alpha. Like that's a hash round, that cheap high explosive round. And it really 
breaks my heart to see this kind of crap. But here we go. Let's keep talking. Yeah, let's let's keep talking about the Conway and the things you can do in it to be successful. First of all, you've got to understand the consumables. You need to run the premium engine boost on this thing, the extra engine boost, because it really does put you out. You can go like 24, 25 kilometers an hour backwards. Uh, and it makes you very, very hard to COD when that kind of stuff is happening. Um, this is the Hesh gun. Yeah, I, I had to try it with both guns, and I, I did give it a fair run. I gave it a really good, solid run with both guns here, guys. Like, I, I'm I'm not making this stuff up. Um, I, I was super disappointed. I mean, I ran into about 65% and about 2k average damage, which is... I mean, it's not that they're winning and you can't be successful in a tank. It's just that the reason I love a lot of tanks is because they're kind of unique. And the Conway just... The FV4005 feels crazy weird, right? And the Conway's armor isn't as bad as I made out earlier. Like, it can actually bounce some shots at Tier 8 and uh, even some Tier 9 shots when it's angled up correctly because it does have gun depression. You've got... That is one thing I will uh, tell you right now. You have 10 degrees of gun depression, but only 10 degrees of gun elevation too, which is uh, a weird kind of thing. And you can see, I'm going to show you an example of that um, that engine boost. Look at me here with a bat chat all over me. Look at the mobility once you drop that engine boost. I mean, the traverse buff, that is really, really impressive. Hey, And that, that engine boost can allow you to do really interesting things. Uh, even without the engine boost on, your mobility is still absolutely clutch. Like, that's a T-54E1 there. And we're motoring along at 40 kilometers an hour down that little incline. Uh, we're certainly capable of getting around and pressuring people. And that makes it an interesting tank, at least, to play. And it, it's something that I do like. What I guess I was hoping for is a tank that had, like, a little bit of a HE pen. Like, the 183, but maybe less. But... You know, not not to the point where it's just there's no point running the the gun because if you want to run a 150 millimeter TD, there's other tanks that do it better, much much better, in fact. Uh, but the armor, as I said, is not is not as horrible as I, I made out at the beginning. It, it it does do good things, and it's it's completely capable of performing at a high level. I I love that engine boost. Like the, the consumables make the line more interesting in and of itself despite the fact that they aren't always um game changers they give you that kind of opportunity where you're going to get the most value out of this tank is in using that mobility to be very very aggressive now you are a tier 9 td which means you do have dpm right you're going to have over 3000 dpm uh you know over three and a half thousand dpm in the configuration that i run and that means you can bring some crazy uh, DPM to the medium flank, light flank, very, very quickly. Now, I take a beating here to get this stuff off, but we are instrumental in completely dominating this flank. And we win this one going away because, basically, we drop nearly 2k damage in the first minute of the game. And we do that because we're able to move with the mediums, even in a tier 10 game. It's a, a very, very exciting concept. Your dispersion is also excellent. 0.293 dispersion on the Conway. Um, I've got to be honest, I've also run it a little bit with the refined gun. And that drops your dispersion down to 0.264, which is awfully, awfully good. And uh, the way I use it is more static positions, which means... You do a lot less of the on-the-move stuff, um, but that vertical stabilizer isn't as important. You can see the batch out here is not having the easy time that he probably expected CODing a Tier 9 TD. And that's lovely. I, I really do think... Uh, I keep going back to the balancing. It's not that I hate Wargaming for balancing this line. I completely agree with the concept of balancing low and buffing up. I just hate the fact that that only counts if you don't pay for the tank. And I've always defended Wargaming's right to make money. And I do think that there is a right to make money on tanks. And I don't like crates and all that kind of thing. But I understand that commercially, without those things, the game doesn't exist. Here's a, an example of that armor not really doing anything. That's your turret armor elevated above everyone else. And they all went straight through the front of the turret. Like that's So don't rely on that turret armor at all. What I have a problem with is... 
just the last month or so, the amount of stupidly overpowered broken tanks that have been introduced to tiers that are already swimming with really stupidly strong premiums that are both readily available, like the IS-5, and very easy to get, like that one there, or are available for very little effort. Um, it really frustrates me, particularly the 252U, the Smash from the WZ-121 FT. I mean, just a joke. This is one of the funnier moments uh, I've had lately playing Blitz, and I've played a lot of Blitz of late. That object kept kept commentating when people would miss and, and have a go at him and was just being a real punish. Obviously thought he was very funny and that, you know, he was very comfortable giving life advice. So I dropped the superpower turbo boost in the Conway. Look at this thing move. Like, it's great. It's so cool. And uh, we see I do the object. Or rather, we get behind him. Look at him. He's in the back, still typing his LOLs out. Uh, uh, hello, object. How you going, mate? I'm a T9TD. And I just did this to you. Enjoy. He loses his freaking mind. Absolutely loses his mind. This is great. I can't resist the LOL and immediately get a response. Noob, report. And I use the old stock standard bushcarism, stay dead kid, and then just shut up. Conway noob. That Conway doesn't have a clan. He must be a super noob. Noob, no clan. <laughs> it's fantastic. Conway has no clan. Such a loser. Okay, yeah. I, I mean, I shouldn't enjoy that as much as I did, but that was pretty fun. Um... So, I mean, I really enjoyed driving the Conway for all that. It was it was fast, and anyone that knows, like, some of the things I like is good guns and fast tanks. And this is a fast tank that has a good gun. And that means that I'm very, very, uh, you know, I'm, I'm capable of enjoying it. And it's, I mean, we lose, I, I would have won a lot more in the Conway, but I had teams that were just dead on arrival. Patch day is always a bit of a mixed bag and you never know what to expect. Everyone logs in and uh, plays the upper tiers and also you get some weird gameplay from your team. Uh, I basically love this this game though because you can see how if you know how to use the Conway's mobility and its ability to actually get to other areas very, very fast, unlike most TDs, you can you can enjoy it. You can have a good time with it. Um, even when the rest of your team just gets galumped in the face. <laughs> I hope you guys got a little bit of joy out of that review. I know that you can do well with the second gun. I'm not saying you can't. But running the tier 10 120mm that has that kind of dispersion and that kind of DPM allows you to be far more intimidating than a 600 alpha no real armor uh, tank could be. And for that reason and that reason alone, I was very happy to run it. The fact that it has a 120 millimeter pen hash round as well uh, is, is very exciting. I hope you're enjoying the videos. Um, I hope you're enjoying the content. Still plenty more to come from this old dog. Uh, I'll be going to Tank Fest at the end of the month, so look forward to that. If you are going to Tank Fest, make sure to head along and say good day. I'll be there with the rest of the humans. Um, I'm sorry if I was waxing lyrical on that. I'm going to be doing a review from the top down, so basically I'll be trying to do the Tier 7 uh, tank next, or the Tier 8 tank. I've bought the Challenger on my Bushka account, so I'm going to try and play my Bushka account. If I just get swamped, I won't be playing the Bushka account, but you know... Every once in a while, you want to play your own account, even if it does come with certainly a lot of issues. Um, look after yourself. Stay safe in the battlefield. Be nice to each other. Be nice to your mum. Be, walk the dog. Uh, try not to just get stuck at the end of the game, fighting a losing battle against many, many humans. And uh, yeah, as always, stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.